Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with an all natural look for you because I was about to put makeup on for filming and I was like, my skin needs a break because if you have been following me on Instagram, you know that basically all week I have been partying because it was Purim in Israel. What the heck is Purim? A common misconception is that Purim is like the Jewish Halloween. False. It is nothing like Halloween except that we dress up and we get drunk and we have lots of food and candy and like have a good time. Okay, maybe it's a little like Halloween, but it's not. Let me break it down for you. Okay, the story goes like this. In Persia, we're under the Persian rule of Ahasuerus, bad guy. Haman, Haman, even worse guy, was like, I want to kill the Jews. Anti-Semite. Huge anti-Semite. And he was like, we're going to destroy all of them. Lucky for the Jews, Esther, who's like this Jewish, she's like this pretty Jewish girl who like was, was taken into the king's harem to be like, you know, you know, <laughs> okay? And they're like, oh my God, she's in the castle. Like she has the power to save us. She tells the king, she's like, this guy Haman wants to kill my people. And he's like, oh shit, you're Jewish. And he's like, okay, I got to protect her. She's my bae. That's the thing, right? People still say that. He's got a lot of bays, but she's, she's his top bae. And he's like, all right, I got to do what she wants. And he's like, Haman, you're crazy. You're out. Esther, you're in. All the Jews are solid. Because that we avoided this crazy, could have been catastrophic, tragic event in Jewish history. That's why we celebrate. Am I making any sense? Yeah. So basically all week I have been partying and dressing up in costumes and it's been a lot of fun hanging out with my friends, but I am exhausted. Good morning everyone, welcome to Tuesday. It's Tuesday and I decided to start the vlog this week on Tuesday because today is our Purim party at work. Okay, so this is my finished look for work party. I have my rose gold mini ears and this like vintage Disney Epcot sweater. It was my mom in the 80s. I'm an Asian Disney tourist. I'm here at the office with Hana and we are making some perm shtick of our CEO. Here's a little DIY project for you. So you tape it with two pieces of paper to make it thicker and then you cut it out and then take anything that's like a stick we're gonna use knives because that's what we have in the office and you just put it in the center and you tape it Voila. and there you have it perm stick <laughs> broken so now I am just in the old city with my new friend and he is fixing my onesie. Yay! Hello! This is Yael and she's a pineapple and I'm Pikachu. Tonight is Purim in Jerusalem and we are going to go to some parties and then go out in the shop and then there's more Purim tomorrow. I know that there are four mitzvot, four that like they say we have to do in Purim. What are they? The first is Megillah. That's the, the scroll that the story of Esther is written on. We have to hear that twice. Once at night, once tomorrow when you're really hungover, so it's not fun. The second is Mishloach Manot. That means giving uh, gifts to your friends, like food. You have to have two different foods with two different brachot, which are blessings. Um, in them. You have to give matanot evyonim, which is um, charity to the poor, and you have to have a mishteh, which is a, a, a celebration, like a, a, a feast. Four M's that you gotta do on Purim. Great. <laughs> don't worry. Rena just used a lot of religious vocabulary that maybe it's we don't I'm know. Religious. 
because she's religious and I'm not. But lucky for you, Rena will be back soon because we are starting a new series. Girls just want to have from. Rena's gonna break down for me and for you all of the religious stuff. But we need to get back to partying. There's like a whole bunch of people out there waiting. So we will see you later. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching my crazy Purim adventures. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, to subscribe if you have not subscribed, and to share it with your friends if you think that they'd like it too. And until next time, bye. So I just want to give a little context. I am a 26 year old woman walking down the street in a full Hello Kitty onesie, and it's normal. God bless Israel.